On your OnePlus Nord C3 Lite, you have this amazing feature called Air Gesture. So when you receive a call, if you hold your hand like this, that is finger pointed down, you will get a prompt to flick your hand up to answer the call. So let me show you how does it work. So you can use this feature when your phone is on a stand or when you are driving and the phone is not connected to your car, the phone will be answered in speaker mode automatically. If you want to mute, do this that is finger pointed up and uh, hold it for one and a half seconds. To enable air gestures on your OnePlus visit your additional settings then scroll to gestures and motions. Find the option air gestures then enable answer or mute calls. If I raise my eyebrows the notification center comes down and if I look up I can go back to the home screen. So I can quickly check my notifications when the phone is on a stand. I can look left or right for previous or next item and simply smile to select the highlighted option on the screen. This is a menu you can summon anytime for quick selection options. So what is it? How to enable? Let me show you. I have selected the settings menu then scrolling down, uh, looking left for the previous option. So additional features let me close this menu with a smile now let me scroll up to the option called accessibility i have selected with a smile then again looking right or left for the selection so this feature is called switch access and you can enable it from here let me turn off this feature first. While using switch access, you can also use the touch screen. So to set this up, you click on the settings icon at the top right corner. Click on camera switch settings. Here you can set different uh, gestures or facial expressions for different actions. For example, this is for smile settings. So scroll down and edit assignment to select next previous touch and hold. Scroll forward, scroll backward, home back, notifications, quick settings and overview. This feature is basically a native Android feature made for people with disabilities, but you can have fun with this feature. There is another one called open mouth. So I have set this to pause camera switch temporarily, which you will need in some cases. On your OnePlus Nord C3 Lite, if you swipe up from the right or left edge of your screen, you can pull down all the apps that is on the home screen so that you can open the desired app with your one hand. Nord C3 Lite is a big smartphone with a 6.7 inch display. So this is a must know feature. Once you pull down all the icons, Continue swiping to an icon and release to open the app. To enable visit home screen settings from here or from your settings menu. Then you have this option called icon pull down gesture. Guys, let me show you the most amazing feature on your OnePlus Nord C3 Lite. I'm entering the secret access code which reveals the hidden apps I have hidden before. So you can hide your sensitive apps or games from your gaming freak friends just like that. There is no trace of these three hidden apps on the home screen, on the apps drawer even. I cannot search them. Their notifications will also not show up. This feature is available on all OnePlus devices running on Oxygen OS 13. So visit the privacy settings, then privacy tab. Here you have hide apps. First, you need to set your privacy password, which I have already set. I will show you later how to set this up. So here you hide the apps you want. Now to set the access code, visit the settings menu at the top right corner here. Let me change my existing access code so it starts and ends with the hash key and uh, I have set this hash 1234 hash so once I input this into the dial pad the hidden apps will reveal themselves. Now the privacy password can be found in the privacy and security settings so you set privacy password as a second layer of security feature which can be used to lock your apps or private data in the private safe. 
I will talk about this in the second episode of this video series. Guys, you cannot watch YouTube videos in the background on the YouTube app without paying for the YouTube premium, but I will show you how you can do it on your OnePlus. So here on the smart sidebar, there is this option called background stream, which shows up when you have videos playing on any app. So right now the video is playing even when I switch off the display so you can listen to podcast or music on your YouTube while doing anything else or simply switch off the screen. I can go back to the video by clicking here and to access this feature, you need to first enable smart side on your oneplus device running on oxygen OS 13 visit the settings menu then scroll down to special features here you have smart sidebar for the background stream feature to work you need to switch on the smart functions as well which will recommend actions you can take while you are watching videos the smart sidebar on your OnePlus Nord C3 Lite is the best implementation of this feature. You can put your frequently used apps or features and if you tap, you can open the apps in a pop-up floating window. You can move it anywhere, resize it and also you can actually minimize it just like that it will slide up to the either corner at the top so that you can do other things. You can close it by double tapping at the top. A great way to multitask and make the best use of this big 6.7 inch display. Let me share with you one of the awesome features of OnePlus Nord C3 Lite. Here you can transfer data or files from one app to another by simply drag and drop. So for example, from the sidebar, I have opened this flexible window. From the gallery, I want to import these four pictures into the note-taking application. So this is how multitasking works on this smartphone. On your OnePlus, you can split screen to run two apps simultaneously. You can do it three ways. One is to drag and drop apps from your smart sidebar and select the second app from your apps drawer or from the sidebar itself. So I'm opening two gallery apps simultaneously, one above another. So you can open two different browsers or you can watch YouTube videos on the top portion and to maybe chatting on the lower portion of the display or maybe take notes on the go. Now the keyboard is coming in the way so you can switch to floating keyboard. Now both windows are visible. You can of course transfer or share data by drag and drop. When you swipe up, you get the task manager, but if you swipe further, you get this option for releasing and once you release your finger, you get the floating or flexible window. Alternatively, you will find both floating window and split screen options in the task manager menu. When there is an app running, if you swipe up with three fingers, you get to split the screen into two. So how do you enable? Visit the settings menu, then special features, flexible windows, and here you will find all the features I have shown you. You will find split screen under special features in your settings menu. On your OnePlus Nord C3, if you swipe down with three fingers, you can take a screenshot and uh, you can also scroll down to take a longer screenshot, which can be very useful if you want to capture a whole web page. Then you can edit like crop it. But if you tap and hold three fingers on the screen for a while, then swipe down, you can snip a part of the screen as you wish. Very useful when you are maybe sending a screenshot of a payment to somebody or simply want to translate a paragraph on a web page using the translate option here. So it saves time and effort. You can do annotations just like that. To turn this feature on, simply visit the settings menu, then additional settings, screenshot. You of course get the native feature of pressing the power and the volume down key simultaneously for taking a screenshot. On your OnePlus, if you swipe inwards from the right bottom corner or the left bottom corner, you get Google Assistant. 
So you can do a lot of things like uh, web search, control your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. or open applications, search on YouTube. And of course, you can trigger Google Assistant by tapping and holding the power key. Guys, if you swipe up two fingers from the bottom edge of your OnePlus smartphone, you get accessibility menu with all the necessary features or options you might need like increase or decrease the brightness of the screen, control the volume, take a screenshot or get the quick settings menu. If you want this accessibility menu on your OnePlus smartphone running Oxygen OS 13, you can simply go to additional settings, then accessibility feature. Here you have accessibility menu. You get Two shortcut options I have enabled swipe up two fingers but you can also tap and hold both volume rockers for three seconds to trigger this feature. Let me share with you the must know tricks on your OnePlus smartphone. When you are on the home screen or on the lock screen, if you double tap on empty space on the screen, you can turn off the screen and lock the device. You can also turn on the screen with a double tap. Now, what happens if you are in an application where double tap to screen off does not work? So for that, I have enabled this assistive ball. That is this semi-transparent floating ball with a double tap on this ball. I can turn off the screen and lock the smartphone. With a single tap, I can pull down the notification center and the quick settings. If I tap and hold, I can take a screenshot. So a very assistive feature for one handed uses. First visit the settings menu, then look for the option home screen and lock screen. Scroll down to double tap to wake or turn off the screen. If you want the device to lock as well, then enable double tap to lock. To get the assistive ball on the screen, visit additional settings. Then assistive ball is here. So you get two options, gesture operations and tap menu. That is if you tap on the ball, you get this menu option for your navigation keys, your lock option, taking a screenshot, etc. You already know that you can pull down the icons on the screen by swiping up from the right or left edges of the screen. But if you swipe down on the middle bottom edge of the screen, then you can pull down the whole display for better one handed uses. So a must know feature for a big display phone like this. To enable this feature, visit the settings menu, then additional settings, one handed mode. Indeed, the all new OnePlus Nord C3 Lite with the Oxygen OS 13 is full of surprises. It's almost impossible to know and remember all of these features, but hold on. I have a second episode coming with a lot more awesome features, so make sure you don't miss that second episode. Subscribe now, be a part of this channel. See you soon.